So this is the single thing that is gonna be the difference between the rig that I'm building versus everybody else. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this A6500 body into this. I'm going to obviously put on the cage first. I feel like I'm playing with Lego. <laughs> Find the hole. Like building a rig a lot of times, it's for convenience of use. Next thing is going to be the base plate. The base plate that holds everything together. So I think the most effective way to build a rig is when you have it absolutely balanced in terms of like where the weight is and stuff. So it, like the way you hold it, it's gonna feel a lot nicer in your hands and you can actually, you know, last longer. Okay, so now that looks like this, right? And then I'm gonna put on the most infamous 18 to 35 1.8 Canon lens with a Sigma MC11 adapter. This is a very heavy, heavy lens, but like it's sharp and it provides such cinematic value because of its 1.8 aperture. Okay, so the next thing after that, I'm gonna attach the front. So this is an adapter ring that actually allows the matte box that just attaches on very, very easily. So you twist that and it tightens. Front part, a lot of it is done. Next is the top handle, which is going to be the Cam TV NATO rail top handle. Nice and sturdy. Now I've got the small HD uh, field monitor. I'm just gonna put that on the very top here. So I've got a little clamp right here that is actually to secure this uh, mini HDMI. So it's not just like sticking out everywhere. So there's like a whole cable management thing that you actually have to worry about when you're building a rig. So this is a side handle, also with a NATO rail. It goes on the side. Now you have your top handle, you have your side handle and you're able to like really get a good grip on it, you know? This is my secret sauce. What this is, it's an XLR battery box that is exclusively sold by B&H. This thing takes, okay, these LPE6 batteries. It takes two of them. But the beautiful thing about this build versus everybody else's build is that all the other builds don't have an XLR input. And XLR is like so important to a cinema rig. You wanna get like better audio. You wanna be able to use like condenser shotgun mics and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into here. It is actually sold for the A6500 with one of the battery adapters right here. And what I like about this rig as well is that like with my V-mount battery that I had before where I just copied other YouTubers and how they rigged up their A6500 is that it stuck out like so much and it, it was no longer compact. It also gave like this huge gap in between right here as well. Aesthetically even like this looks awesome. I don't actually have a condenser shotgun mic at the moment. I also can attach my lav mic system. So now the XLR right here, plug that in there. Boom. So there you have it. This rig, I mean, I wouldn't say it's light just because the lens itself is already two pounds. <laughs> Works beautifully for me. This thing handles nice. I can run and gun or I could shoot like music videos and stuff with it and you can get rid of all the micro jitters. Yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Kian. If you guys like this, please subscribe and I have a lot more content for the A6500 coming up.